Hard to be. All right, hey guys, we've got a fun one for you. It's one of those fun. This ones. is the one that I was most excited for because it was Boggles versus Infect, and Julia is one of our newest members to the Infect Conclave. Welcome. We're glad to have you. One of us. <laughs> one of us. No, no she's her her first love, without a doubt, is control. Like that's easy to say. Mm -hmm. She big fan of Jeskai control, the Nahiri control, and loves playing the mirror matchup. Which I hear from a lot of people. Like uh, <laughs> I hear from a lot of people how they hate mirror matchups, and she generally just like I love playing the long grindy drawn out control mirrors sure it's one of her favorite things to do um kyle former invitational player did not make it in for season two very much a rotating player chooses a different deck almost every week and is on the boggle plan for this week it's an off week Oh, I was not <laughs> No. Okay. <laughs> so here's what happened. We were talk we were talking about all these people that play in fact. And people that in the sense that have played in fact more than one week. <laughs> and so you know <laughs> Jeremy was like, "Yeah, I have. I play in fact. I played it one, last week. I play in fact. They put me in this number and I just, <laughs> not, just that he has in fact because I don't know. Not trying. I wasn't trying to be mean though. I was just generally just. Well, yeah. You, he has a lot of different decks. When I think of Jeremy, I think of him as a Tron player first." But maybe that's just because of the amount of time that I've seen him play Tron compared to these other decks. Like, when people think of me, they don't go, oh, you know, Nan plays black-white tokens. Like, I've played it once this season. I played it, like, the last time I played it was, like, six months ago or something like that. Like, I have the deck. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not a black-white token player. That, that's that was the way I was trying to convey it that didn't work that way <laughs> so <laughs> but in all honesty I hate uh, everybody that's really what it is alright so Bongo ended up it's been a long time since we've seen the Boggle deck, green white hex proof deck on camera. <laughs> Player targets themselves with Mind Slayer. <laughs> yeah, still, guys, you know, hit us up with any more bingo spots that you guys can think of. Um, <laughs> for me, your Heroes Kids. <laughs> Talk to us about Boggles before I do something stupid or something like that. Say something else stupid. <laughs> So, Boggles, uh, you can kind of see it in different color variations. You've got the green-white, you've got Bant. Um, but really, it's just play one guy, get a bunch of enchantments, put them on that guy, win. Yeah. Really quickly. The takes advantage of Zendikar with the Aurors with the Heft Totem Armor. Mm -hmm. So if that creature would die, nope, just kidding, this Auror dies instead. Um, Daybreak Coronet really makes the deck work giving your guys all these extra abilities for 2 white uh, plus 3 plus 3 life link, vigilance might even have first strike on there too like, just does a bunch of stuff so <sighs> Groundswell no blocks or maybe he does block Groundswell, Groundswell again Mutagenic. Dead. Always block. Moral of the story. 
right there. Turn two, kill, Julia got there. All because Kyle did not block. This is fine. Now, that also could give indication with him not blocking of, I don't have another creature. True. But would you rather lose your creature here? Okay, I don't know. All right, that makes the argument. Lose your creature here. Maybe you don't have a fetch land. Because if you have a fetch land, you have a creature. Because you run Dry Arbor. Mm -hmm. Um, That is... That is tough. And the other thing to remember is, given the amount of... I think the turn two kills um, <laughs> are much more apparent than they were a year ago. Um, yeah, with the, with the style that a lot of people are playing right now is the very all-in. So... Kind of I, I, I agree with your statement of always block because chances are they could be going all in. Yeah. I, it, it is very difficult when you're staring down. And this works against the Death Shadow deck too. Hmm? In particular, Death Shadow and Infect, the mindset of always blocking, most of the time is going to help you out. Depending on your opponent though, it could be a little bit different because... We saw with the pumps that either way, Julia was keeping her creature, and Kyle was not. But, if Kyle jumps in the way with his creature, he lives one more turn, and least. Julia has to waste at least one of her pumps to kill that creature. So... <laughs> you can't even actually play against Bongles with blue at red control. You're just there. You say that, yet Shahar Shenhar had something to say about that in the World Championship a couple years ago. There you go. Against Reed Duke. Bongles versus blue at red control. That was a crazy um, finals. Well, that's all. We have a new world champion now. Came right from Winchester. Right? Local man. Oh, Brian Brown doing. Mm hmm. Fun fact for those that didn't know. Bless <laughs> no, what would be really helpful in this matchup? Bless of the Lions. And guess what? Because you have access to white, you could be running that in your sideboard. That's a very unique way to <laughs> get your deck together. Well, if you're going to pile shuffle, at least do it randomly. Yeah, that's true. So, Blessed Alliance um, seems to be the theme. Pick up all the foils now before they spike. <laughs> They're going to sell out. They're going to sell out. All if, you guys watching at home, start going on all the sites. If the Winchester IQ and is any indication. Or Orlando is yeah. any indication, we're in for a fun time. We, we are. Now, so Kyle's hoping. Okay. The Boggles and Infect are similar in the amount of creatures they run. Hey, watch this. I'm going to call it right now. Okay. What a pun. Can you pile shuffle randomly? No. I'm going to beat Jeremy to it. Yeah. <laughs> and also wanted to pile shuffle. I, yeah, I think that seems to be... Oh, pile shuffling is more to make yourself feel better. Um, but I, I, I don't know. I, I'm superstitious when I play Magic. Which I think bothers Brett that I'm superstitious when I play Magic. <laughs> the fact that you can't play without it all being foiled is what bothers me. <laughs> I can play with it not all being foiled, but I'm going to feel like I'm doing something incorrectly more often than not. Nan and also gonna... doesn't like ghosts. I don't like ghosts. I don't do ghosts. Math, it doesn't. <laughs> so, yeah, don't do ghosts. Fun facts of the day. 
Team also annoy Jeremy. <laughs> Team annoy Patrick. <laughs> it's a placebo. I'm cool with placebos. Placebos are great. Give me all the sugar pills. It's all, it's all in my head. I know that. But I'm okay with it being all in my head. Makes, you know, it's cool. All right. So I think Julia, just checking through her numbers and making sure she has the right sideboard stuff, right cards in her deck. Because you don't want to sit there and be like, here is my deck. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't sideboard correctly. Right. <laughs> Came back after four minutes of shuffling. <laughs> Chatterstorm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's even better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay, from now on, guys, anytime you play Patrick, just pile shuffle every time you fetch. <laughs> Wouldn't be, that be the worst? I'm, like, <laughs> I'm fairly certain that... Uh... We'll need a judge call. Yeah, that's slow play. That would be pretty horrible, though. I would even say something if my opponent pile shuffled after every fetch. Like the first time, you're just kind of like, uh, mm, is this? Oh, okay, mm, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, that's fine. Yep. And then <laughs> second... light your deck on fire. <laughs> Too lazy to look it up, using the card bot to help him out. I like that. Hey. You leave my cats out of this. <laughs> Did you get an image? No. Okay, <laughs> just making sure. <laughs> All right. So, here's our first hexproof creature coming out, our Glaive Cover Scout. Taxing Prones. We see a Path, a Rancor, a Daybreak Coronet here. Was it two Daybreak Coronets, a Rancor, Path, um, and a Hyena Umbra, I believe, on the back left side? Oh, it's Talking Patrick. Okay, cool. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Um, and Julia's being really smart. Play that Cataxian first, because you could draw into an elf that you could play. You could draw into some protection. You know, things like that. <laughs> but I'll take your cats too. I don't care. <laughs> I'm wild. <laughs> Oh, another Gataxian. Now, your life can be relevant, but by looking at everything here... Ink Moth, okay. One. Wow. Okay. This time, he's really scared. I don't... I think... I think it's misplaced. I think right here, go for the Rancor. She dug all this much. Worst case here is she plays a creature. Yeah, so that's, I mean, that's something that needs to be noted. Um, if you're playing Infect and all you see is an Ink Moth Nexus, um, don't be too concerned. 
Yes, mutagenic is a thing. You can have four of them. However, it's very mana intensive. Right, and and really, you're supposed to be pathing stuff on the end steps. You have to be very careful about doing it within combat. Mm -hmm. And noble even here. So, like, and Kyle sees that noble, and now he's just probably kicking himself. Man, now I'm a turn behind playing when I need to. Right. And if he did not get another land, he cannot justify putting a Rancor now. I, I don't... If he doesn't have the land, I don't see this working for him. I really don't. Because now his shields are down. Now that whole point of saving that path from last turn just goes out the window. Julia's going to play a land. Use the Noble to activate Ink Moth. Might Groundswell kill him. Calling it. And Kyle's going to kick himself for not playing that Rancor turn earlier and having the path here. I mean, that's really tough, too. Like, the... The boggled deck, everything's so low costing, you're not that worried about um, running too many lands. Yeah, but you gotta have lands. Activate. I think I'll make, in fact, everyone will love me. One of us. You can join Brett on the Bant. In fact, style. Here we go. Might. It's happening. Groundswell. Exalted trigger. 10 damage. Turn 3. God damn. You look perplexed. Oh. Huh. Just making sure, since it looks like... Seems like everything's fine, though. <laughs> All right. Yay for Infect. Julia, turn two, turn three on camera. That was awesome. I do feel bad when that happens and you sit there and go, well, I need another land, and then I could have done stuff. But again... This is kind of the tough stuff that crops up when you're not used to playing a deck. True. And you pick it up and you're... We saw with Ben, too, making a couple of sequencing issues. It's just these little things where in your head you're like, all right, in and out, I know how this works. I've played this matchup kind of thing. With him playing the Ink Moth here, next turn he'll be able to make a creature or worst case, swing in for one off the ink moth or if he's got four mutagenics two four six eight i'll take nine yeah i'm not i'm not dying next turn so the very worst case i'm taking nine best case i take one or in the best case i take none like he plays something else like noble or that Julia is the plays. best case that would be the best case yeah. so i think on that turn play the rancor then you still have the path because then she can't kill him on turn three because then she would have to resort to having a Vines or an Apostles. Because she did get to Gitaxian twice and knew that path was there. Mm -hmm. So, again, it, it happens. You know, that land was just one down. That's, that, that's how it goes. That's how magic goes. Happened to me on Sunday. That land. Just needed that one more. Just one more land. That's how it goes. <laughs> that guy is long time viewer. First time commenter. What does this have to do with Overwatch? Well, it's been a while since we played Overwatch. I don't know. Have you been playing Overwatch lately? Yeah, off and on. Really? Off and on, yeah. I'm sad. Um, he doesn't invite me to play anymore. Hold on. <laughs> I'm thinking about this. <laughs> what does this have to do with Overwatch? <sighs> I 
Well, there's monkeys in Magic, Kurt Apes. There's monkeys in Overwatch. No, I don't got it. No, I don't that doesn't work. No, I don't Kurt Ape, Winston. Um, what you just did was open up the floodgates for Harambe. <laughs> <sighs> Alright. Yeah, I the problem is I don't have very much time right now to play any games. <laughs> uh, plus, WoW came out, so I know a lot of the other people like TJ and stuff are playing WoW instead of playing Overwatch. How are we doing on our polls? So, real quick, guys, for everybody that's tuning in and watching tonight, thank you. We're going to start our giveaway. Um... Simple and easy. Dana White. <laughs> We're going to do hashtag sticker tonight. Type hashtag sticker in the chat if you are following the, the stream and you will be eligible <laughs> to... <laughs> yeah, start playing WoW. No. Uh, you will be eligible Snickers <laughs> to win a new sticker. And while that's going on, are we officially cutting it off? No. You want to keep get the show up one more one time, more guys? Time. One more time. Until Copy the paste. giveaway is done. <laughs> Swiffer, yo, Prodigy Raps. Thanks for the follow. Thank you so much, dude. Feel free to do the hashtag sticker. Get yourself <laughs> in there. Ignore everyone. Hashtag sticker. Hashtag sticker is all Could potentially you get you one of these guys. If you don't live in the area, we'll be happy to mail it to you, just if you feel comfortable enough giving us your information. If not, if we're at an event near you, let us know. We'll be happy to give it to you that way. Um, so we've got that going on. Straw poll is Straw in poll chat, is guys. Up. Get those votes in. Let us know. So while that stuff's going on, the official count. we'll do our normal... Sure. Talkings, goodbyes, things like that, and then we'll get the official. Here's what's happening, guys. Here's the winner of the sticker, <laughs> and all this stuff. Hashtag killer. <laughs> Roger um, Raps coming in. So big thanks to, of course, our top patron donations coming in from Trip at Comic Kung Fu and Chris Bennett, aka Eminem, Dionysus Bacchus, Cork Street Taverns, my official poker stop. I mean, oh, you're still playing. I'm still playing. Good I'm, for you. You know, yeah. I, I love I love me some Pokemon. Mm -hmm. What can I say? He was playing RPGs and I was playing Pokemon proud. when I was a kid. Hashtag proud. <laughs> um, so, awesome. And, of course, we've got Matthew Manson over there um, as well from our top patron donators there. Donors. Birds and stuff. But we have some other top stream donors. Drewski Brew, number one in our hearts. 1v1 Magic, <laughs> Atticus the Mystery Donor, Tatcher Domus, Lila Goyf, Nate Hop 34 Burgleton, Stormdust07, Badger934, Strog Smash, the list just continues, and you guys are absolutely amazing, no. tossing bucks, dollar bills our way mm -hmm. to keep this stream alive, to keep the dream yes. alive. And when it comes time to buy stickers... By dice, by cameras, we use all those donations that you guys have given us. Nothing becomes quicker. Sorry, I just saw Prodigy Raps. I was oh, trying to spin just... this around. I was doing pretty well. Um, oh, man. Sorry. You're good. Do you're good. You want to finish up the giveaway? Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that we need to talk about before we do the cutoff and... Yeah, we'll figure it out. All right, so here's the giveaway, guys. Let's see who is our winner tonight. Winner number one. Giveaway. And our winner is Strong Smash. Congratulations on winning yourself a fancy new Modern Magic Monday sticker. Here comes foreshadowing Ooh. tomorrow. Ooh. So that's what we've got our... Uh, winner for the evening for that. Now, there's other ways to win stickers coming up because we have a fantasy <laughs> bracket that you guys can do. If you are on the Twitch page or you're following us on Twitter, which you guys should, at The Real Nan Man, at Pharmazur and R, and at Modern Mondays, we've tweeted up the bracket. It's also under there where the top eight player standings is located. Get your picks in for that. We've um, got the official stuff set up for Lyle versus Jeremy, Derek versus Keenan, Eric versus Ben, and TJ versus Tim. You fill out the bracket, tweet at us, 
take a picture of it, send it to us, let us know, or you know, print it out and fill it out that way, whatever you want to do. But as long as you give it to us by 7 p.m. Eastern I find it I tomorrow. find it interesting that you're cutting it off at 7 p.m. Well, we're supposed to start the tournament. Oh, is it because we have people in the shop? As yes. Well? Okay. That's All right. why. All right, 7 p.m. That's the only reason why. The first time you said it, I was like, why but no one, no one's gonna see it until oh, that. seven p.m. for real. For reals. If you're in at seven oh one, get out of here. Too late. <laughs> if you're at six fifty nine, you're fine. You're good. <laughs> seven o'clock, we'll take it. <laughs> but fill that in. Oh. If you predict correctly, you get a sticker. If nobody predicts correctly, we'll do the closest people to predict oh. correctly. We'll get a sticker. We'll get a sticker. We will get some more stickers. <laughs> so that'll be another way for you guys to win some stickers um, out there. And who do we have on camera in the quarterfinals? Are we ready? Yeah, let's do it. We're official. It's happening. It's happening. It's going to be TJ Schillingberg versus Tim Rivenberg. 14 votes. 41%. 41% of the votes. So it's official. It is official. TJ and Tim. Ooh. And I I have no idea what they're playing. No idea. It'll be exciting. It's super exciting. Everyone has been speculating, trying to guess and see what everyone's... This is why we do this. This is why we tell everyone a week in advance. Not only because we're lazy and we got a bunch of work to do. Battle of the Berg! <laughs> it is the Battle of the Berg. What? Bring two? Still waiting for my one from the donation? Yep. If I did not give you one, I apologize. I will make sure I bring two tomorrow. <laughs> Tim with four main deck stony <laughs> sciences. <laughs> Is that not what you're... You just try to beat round one so you can get to the semifinals? Oh my gosh, that would be so sad. Because TJ would go bananas. Um... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, we talked about it at the end of round three, but just kind of a quick rundown for those that aren't as familiar with what other stuff that we're working on, pretty much what other stuff Brett is working on, but what stuff are you going? Where can people find you doing other stuff? Oh, just, uh, just come hang out, twitch.tv, Pharma Zernar. That is the, uh, the community that I'm trying to build, uh, all variety gaming all the time. Mm -hmm. When I'm not doing this, I'm working on that. Yep. And um, that's that's basically it. You like variety games, online, RPGs, mostly. Anything you can dream. Uh, actually, I will be having a straw poll going up oh, soon. Oh, that's what I was going to ask. What yeah. you're playing currently. Uh, we are playing I Am Setsuna right now. We're like super close. I, feel, I felt like you were probably getting near yeah. the end of it. Well, we were, we were having some rips here and there, but mm. I believe we're like this much left. So I'm gonna definitely going to put that up either today or tomorrow to start getting votes in, and then we'll, we'll decide on Thursday. What cool. about you? Um, so, I'm getting married. You are. So, most of my other content is put on hold currently until after the wedding. So, see a big influx of content like November, December time period for me. We're going to get back to doing our Pokemon Versus. Ha and I will be doing our variety gaming stuff um on sundays um i've got super secret content in the works um i felt like oh i've got to keep playing through the warcraft 3 campaign um and just more stuff when i think about it because yeah. I, I can't remember what else i yeah. wanted to do <laughs> it's all there it's, it's right there here. just you know it's right here um uh, but it really big thank you to everybody that's tuned in to watch Tron. um whether you guys are watching live watching from the vods if you've watched any of our content over these many months now that we've had it we started up in february and we, it is now september so i know it's hard to believe like but it is it is almost october i know it's coming up um so thank you guys you guys help make this happen. We really do appreciate all the support that you've given us for doing Modern Magic Mondays. But next week will be the Invitational. We'll have additional content for you guys, interviews with all of our top eight players, um, and four rounds of coverage. So it'll be a little bit less for the coverage-wise, but by adding in this extra stuff, we hope that you still 
uh, enjoy the Invitational there. And, and, do, then, and do not forget, you're going to have not only your quarterfinal, which is going to be TJ versus Tim. Yep. You're going to have both semifinal matches. Both the semifinal matches. And then your finals. And then the finals. And then October 3rd will be the kickoff of Season 3. We will have the bingo set up for that. We will also be on our new home, twitch.tv slash modern magic Mondays. So we appreciate you guys hitting the follows and subscribing and doing all that good stuff over here and watching us here. But make sure you also head over that way and hit the follow there so when we go live, you'll get that update. Oh, it's Mondays. I need to head over here and watch some magic. There you go. So um, that's going to be it for us tonight, guys. Thanks again, and we'll see you next week for the Invitational.